Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer Miller, also known as Amethyst Winters. I am a mother, I am a mother co-parenting. I'm an author and I am a makeup lover. Uh, as you can see from the title, this is my November, December, January empties. Why so many, you ask? Probably because I didn't empty much in the other two months. No, um, a lot of things. That's part of the reason. I don't have much to begin with, so I mean, you know. But um, the probably the other part is just because time kept escaping and I've been busy trying to schoolwork, etc. You get the picture life. <laughs> so, without further ado, oh, let's get started because there's not a lot. But, you know, I don't like to waste your time because there is, we, none of us have a lot of it, right? Right. Totally. And I have something that is bugging me oh well it's just gonna have to bug me okay if you like this um makeup look it will be up on my instagram channel uh, oh shoot i think i might have already posted it by now yeah because i'm not certain what this video is going up so it's going up soon probably around the same time so you know you might have seen it you might not have you might want to check out my instagram is what i'm trying to tell you Okay, um, got my baggie of, uh, yeah, I know, right? I got my baggie of empties, and we're going to get started. One second. Not this one. You can be in the next one. You know there will be. <laughs> my son. <laughs> okay, I promise you there will be one you can be in, but not this one. It won't take my own. Love y'all. Okay. I have, I have a few makeup and most, most, what do you call it? Life stuff. This is, um, this is Matrix Biolage Hydrosource Shampoo. Shampoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I bought this when, about a year, two years ago. Yeah. About two years ago at this time, I didn't start using it until last year, at the end of the year, probably around October. But anyway, um, I went to the salon and I don't normally get name brand shampoos like this. When I say name brand, I mean 20 buck shampoos, but I had the extra money. Um, it was right around the time when they were giving out bonuses for um, working at my work because of um, Corona and everything. So yeah, I got a bonus and I decided, okay, let's treat my boys to a haircut and I treated myself to some shampoo. So this is, I really cannot, I did like it. Was it worth a $20 price point? No, I don't think so. I'm not, I'm not bagging on them. And um, I totally, you know, would probably repurchase if money wasn't tight. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's a good shampoo. And I like the smell of it. And it did clean my hair. But so does, so does say, Pantene. And so does um, Herbal Essences. So I really couldn't say that this was worth $15 more. So that's that. Okay, this is also, oh no, it's not. <laughs> this is by Avon. It is their um, Daily Defense Body Wash. And I quite enjoyed this. Now, I, right around that time as well, it was probably in March, that I received two boxes. Um, but they were similar, and they were done at separate times, about a month apart, but... They were similar, but they were different. And you are welcome. I will probably not put it in the cards, but I did make a video about it. Um, there was a lot of Avon stuff in there, and this was one of them. I enjoyed this. Again, would I repurchase? Considering you got to go through Avon, if I knew an Avon rep and if I was more into ordering Avon, yeah, I think I would. I really think I would order it. Um, it is a good body wash and I enjoyed using it. I liked the smell. I liked 
how it made my skin feel, I think I would repurchase it. If I knew, if I had a standard Avon rug. Just saying. All right. This, I enjoyed this. Okay, so last year for my birthday, Miss Faye Blatcher sent me a, um, a BoxyCharm box. I ended up getting two. <laughs> um, she's got no clue how that happened, neither do I, but I ended up getting two and I absolutely loved it. But these are um, Clear Skin Club clean towels. And I, 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 there was 25 of them and I enjoyed using them quite, I mean, I guess just that, I enjoyed using them. They, I could use one about four or five times. So this, I used them right away after I got them probably within a, a month after getting them and they, I just finished them and I got them last year and my birthday, well, okay, so this is going up right around my birthday. My birthday is the 4th of February and so it was pretty much a year later. I absolutely love these. These are great. Um, I'm getting more into less waste and even though, yes, you throw these away, but you can reuse them as far as it's one, it's like the size of a washcloth. So there's, I just think there's more use out of one of them versus a baby one or something, or a makeup wipe. So yeah, I I will definitely be looking into um, possibly getting more of these. So I like these a lot. This is an empty thing of wipes. Um, this I believe was given to me my in a gift, in a birthday gift box by Miss Dee Dee Decord. And these are Yep, cannot read for the life of me. The lighting in here is horrible. I should have turned on my other light, but I did not. But cannot read the brand because I am going blind. I, oh, Bolero. Bolero Soothing Facial Wipes, Black Tea and Lychee, and Collagen. Um, fruit, in, fruit Enzymes Boost Radiance Improves Skin Tones. There are 30 of them in here. I enjoyed these. Um, I'm not anti-wipes anymore or nothing like that. I just want to try to use less waste this year. So I did enjoy using these though. This is a mask and this, huh, I am in so much trouble. I got quite a few masks all last year and I did get some for Christmas. I know I'm going to all oh, this person will probably correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this was in my um, this was in my Christmas gift box from Miss Colleen from um, Uniquely Individually Yours, and it is a Holly Jolly Skin. Uh, I tore off the uh, darn it <laughs> name brand, but it actually is a picture of Mickey Minnie's face and it's so cute. I enjoyed it. I'm enjoying masks these days. This one has vitamin C and Alan Cohen and it is for firm and bright skin. I couldn't notice a noticeable difference as far as from what the eyes could see but my skin felt soft and smooth and I believe it did what it was supposed to do. I think masks should be used a couple times a week if you want to see a noticeable difference. I also have the kind that you know that you smear on your face and wash off rather than the sheet masks, but I like them both. Um, I'm a pro both, I guess. I'm a, I'm pro both, we'll just say that. <laughs> so, but yeah, I think that was from a Christmas present from Miss Colleen. All right, that is all my, um, I can talk. That is all my lifestyle empties. Now my beauty empties. This is, this is a, it is by Sephora, I believe. Yep, by Sephora. And it is a lip liner. Reason I am getting, decluttering it. Well, right down there is nub. 
you can't see it, but I was going to show you. But if I'm not mistaken, the reason I'm getting rid of it is just because it is dried out and stuff. And I mean, most of mine last, but this one did not. It could have been dud for all I know. It worked for a while, but I'm good. Plus, I'm not into nude lip liners very much because of the fact that <clears throat> I like dark liners so I can do a, um, a gradient look. That's my main reason for using lip liners. However, once in a while, I can, I'll can i use a liner with a gloss on top for just a plain nude look. So, that one is in the trash. And the rest I have are mascaras because I only use them for three months, three to, three to five months, we'll say. Um, four months, pretty much. And then I get rid of it. So this one is Clinique Chubby La or no, Clinique High Impact Mascara. Um, I am a fan of both my Clinique's mascaras. This still does have some in it, but it is, like I said, I used it for three to four months and I was like, I'm not gonna use it anymore because I do know that they can go bad and they can harm your eyes. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Um, if you're ever wondering about something like that, uh, Tati did a, um, she, I forget what it was. I think she used one from somebody else, but she's a big proponent for that, for not using them longer than three months. Um, once they've been opened, of course, because of the fact that air can get to them and can harm yourself. And she got like a sty from it. So she, yeah, she's a big proponent. This. Um, I bought that one, by the way, just to let you know. But this was a gift. This is It's Hero Mascara. And um, same reason, I just used it for three months and it was time to put it away. I do like this. I was really a big fan of this. As a matter of fact, I'm using another It one right now. And I'm not as, quite as a fan of that one as I am of this one. I'm not going to say I hate that one. But this one just really had an overall um, lengthening and... Uh, um, not with <laughs> lengthening and just made me look like I had fuller, fuller. There we go. Words, words, yeah, no words, <laughs> but yeah, I really like this one and I'm thinking about repurchasing um, a full size one. So, but yeah, this I won in, it was part of a giveaway that I won back in, um, last year around April and from, I'm gonna butcher the name because there's two channels that are very similar. I think it's Lynn's Wonderful World of Beauty and More. I know it's Lynn's something. Oh my goodness, I'm horrible. I won't remember to put it anywhere, but if I do, I hope to, <laughs> and I will get it right. So, but yeah, it was really sweet of her, and she gave me a really nice box of goodies, and I was really pleased, so like that. And last but not least, this is by Stilla. It is the Stilla Magnum Mascara. I definitely am a fan of this one. Um, definitely will be repurchasing one of these one day. I have mini mascaras at the moment, so I don't need to repurchase anytime soon. And I always get one when I do a full face of Nearly New to Me um, that I've been doing, and I have yet to get one for this time. And the hair is part of me. But anyway, I definitely think this is worth it. Um, is it worth 20 bucks? Yeah, I'm gonna say give or take. Yeah, uh, I know you can get some for five, but I know the ones that I get for the most part are under, um, or for the good ones are right around 10, and I think they're worth $10. And the ones that are five that I've bought, only a few of them actually are worth $5. So, definitely a good one. Definitely would repurchase, I definitely encourage you to try it. So, that is everything from my empties for the month of, or the month, months, I can't say that word, months of um, November, December, January. My next one hopefully will only be a February, March, but it will be in late March when I do it, or early April. <laughs> so, if you like these types of videos, as I have a friend that says, I would appreciate a big thumbs up. And if you would subscribe, I would be even giddier. And I would just love to hear from you guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video.